first and foremost. I want to give all. The honours, the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Mahavaka, Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahabashai, and who I reverence. Honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit. And to the hopeful elect that are across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. Salakia, 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 Salakia. I was just fixing up something. Got a little tent here. But they never gave me any instructions. And without the instructions, it's bloody useless. So, but it doesn't really matter anyway, you know why? Because I got another tent being ordered. But Lorwyn, I want to put this one together, but there's no instructions with it. So if someone comes past, I'm just going to ask them, you know what? Have you ever put a tent together? Because this is the thing. This is the thing about learning. You can never be too proud to ask. And if you can't do something, you ask. Right, and I can see why everybody gets them pop up tents now because they're just much more easier to put up. But this one doesn't even have the instructions, it's useless. But Lord within, this is going to be edifying, right? And we're going to be in situations, it's not about this, but some of us are going to be in situations where you're going to need to camp out, okay? But Lord within, it's going to be edifying, it's going to be concerning them seducing spirits. And doctrines of demons. Very, very serious lesson. Very serious lesson. A Lord winning, some of you will be edified. If not, some of you, one of you. Okay, so we're going to get back to this, Baba Kishar. And we'll put up this tent later on. Lord winning. Alright? So, let's go to... It's a very, very serious lesson. Doing some research on this. I haven't got my umbrella, so I'm going to try to cover this up. Hold on just a minute. Well, the Lord loves a, you know, I don't even like that word try, right? But those that put their best effort forth. Go to Timothy's. And we're going to start Timothy's 1 and 19. This is a lesson that I've just been thinking upon. First Timothy's 1 and 19. Seducing spirits, how do you operate? Right? Lying spirits. Go to First Timothy's 1 and 19. Right? My last lesson was concerning this yesterday. This is 1 Timothy's 4. Paul's warnings of false teachers, right? All across the world, right? Whether you're a false prophet within the Christian church, right? Whether it's Pentecostal, Baptist, Seventh-day Adventist, okay? Whether you're teaching some new age doctrine, right? These are seducing spirits. Whether it's your woman that's trying to get you out of the truth, right? These are seducing spirits, Right, verse chapter 4. Now, the spirit speaketh expressly, but in a lot of times, some shall depart from the faith. Latter times, latter times means end times. This is very serious, and um, I'm still in the I'm still repenting because I don't want to go too personal with it. I believe there were certain doors I may have opened up by watching certain videos of certain individuals. That were acting like they were for Yahusha, but they were not for Yahusha. Remember, the churches have been infiltrated by New Age doctrine, which is Satanism. Okay. But in a lot of times, some shall depart from the faith. So it was said that some are going to depart from this faith, right? The faith of Yahweh by Shem Yahusha. And it was going to let us know why. And when you're departing, that means you're erring from the truth. So these seducing spirits are set up to get you away from the truth, whatever it may be. Could be a job, could be a job offer, could be a woman. Oh, you want to get with me, you got to shave your beard off. Anything. It's a seducing spirit. Okay. And it says, depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. So this is what it says would happen in the last days. Right. And doctrines of devils, let's slow down. So when I looked up this word seducing spirit, it says Greek in a planos. Planos in Greek. It says wandering. It says roving. It says misleading. Wandering from what? That's one that wanders from this truth. Wanders from the way of understanding. We have to stay firm in this truth. Whatever you are taught, if it's correct, don't change it. 
if you change it, that's a sign of a seducing spirit. Right? Misleading. So this spirit is set up to mislead you. Into error. It says vagabond. It says tramp. It says imposter. It says deceiver. So those that have these seducing spirits, they're deceivers. Right? Let's continue. And it says seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. So what are these seducing spirits? Anything that's outside of the truth. New age, that's outside of the truth. Right? Scientology, that's outside of the truth. Astral projection, that's outside of the truth. Kundalini, that's outside of the truth. Right? That has nothing to do with the words. That's a seducing spirit. Buddhism, that's outside of the truth. That's a seducing spirit. If someone tells you, well, you know, um, um, I do my, I do, you know, Buddhists, I do yoga and I still listen to the scriptures and no, that's nothing to do with the truth. Right? Well, you know, I do my meditation and so forth. That's, that's nothing to do with the truth. You've got to be very, very careful. <laughs> very careful. Right? Especially with them chosen one videos as well. Because guess what? When you watch them videos of the chosen ones, say if they're not showing their face and they're telling you a particular thing, how do you know they ain't got tarot cards laid out? You may not be able to see that. How do you know they ain't got tarot cards or candles burning? That's why you've got to be careful. These are seducing spirits. Ultimately, if you're of the, if you're of the elect, you're going to be all right. And doctrines of devils. So what are these doctrines? These are false doctrines. Oh, everybody can come together. Um, flat earth. Um, mermaids. That's seducing spirits. Okay. And when you look up this word devils, doctrines of devils, this is Greek. Dim, dimanion. Dimanion, it sounds like dominion, right? Dimanion. Evil spirits are messengers and ministers of the devil. So with that whole new age thing, they're serving evil spirits. Tarot card reading, right? These readings, astrology. There's evil spirits attached to that. So when you ask for readings now, that's a spirit that's being sent to you by a demon to look into your life and you wonder why you got all these problems, right? Is there evil spirits, they're evil messengers. So you've got to break off from these things. Right? There's nothing righteous about it. It says evil spirits, doctrines of devils. Right? A devil can teach you a false doctrine. Yes. And we're going to get into that. We're going to get into this. Lord willing, it's going to be edifying. So what does it say? It says evil spirits are messengers and ministers of the devil. New age, they're ministers of Satan. How do we know? We went into this yesterday. Excuse me, just a minute. Bear me just a minute. We're going we to get this out. Right? Stay away from that new age garbage. Right? You're opening up portals. Oh, well, um, all these things are happening. Um, people are following me. There's new age. Um, this is happening. Things are dropping off the wall. I have nothing but bad luck. Nothing but negativity. Well, um, who was you listening to? Are you sure you never opened up no doors? Have you been doing yoga practices, stretches? You've got to be careful. Bear me just a minute. And they're evil spirits. What is an evil spirit? What is it sent to do? Ruin your life. Right? Now, you can repent of these things, but you have to be covered by and repent. Right? Excuse me just a minute. So these are evil ministers. Right? Because Satan, what, has transformed into an angel of light. Okay. So he manipulates his appearance. Talk about light workers. Oh, well, we're working light. No, it's a false light. It's a dim light. It's a counterfeit. That's why Satan also is known as Lucifer. Right? So he presents something to you that's good. But really, it's bad. It's evil. Okay? It's a, it's a very thin line between being out of the truth and in the truth. Right? Okay. Let's continue. 
doctrines of de these are doctrines of devils, man. All right. Let's continue with this. All right. Doctrines of devils speaking lies and hypocrisy. So their whole thing is to speak lies. Right? You can't call yourself all right. Um, uh, I'm, I'm a new ager, but I believe in the Bible. No, you're a Satanist. So if you're a Satanist, that means you just open up doorways. This thing is, there's, there's no in-between. You cannot serve the most high and mammon. There's no in-between. Very, very serious stuff this is. And it says, Baba Kisha, teaching doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience said with a hot iron. I looked up that word conscience said. It said to mark by branding with their own conscience. And that's why I've seen a lot of people recently that's come up to me and they're into the new age and they seem to be very um i don't want to be too disrespectful mentally there's something going on there's something that's that's not right because these spirits they plague your mind they give you illnesses a lot of people that you hear about they do yoga they do this bro oh oh it's to make me feel good for a for a little while so what happens when you stop doing it you start feeling bad because them dev devils are giving you that good that good feeling they're giving you that good feeling. They're giving you them sensations. It's a lie. It's counterfeit. Okay. And that goes for all that rubbish that they practice. Oh, Kundalini, my chakra. Just get away from that rubbish. All right. I'm balancing my chakra. That's all rubbish. And it says, Baba Kasha, and brand it on conscience, souls, brand it with, with marks of sin. When I looked it up, it said marks of sin. Caring about perpetual sin, medical sense, to cautionize, to remove by caution. So this is what these seducing spirits do, which are evil spirits, right? That take control of people's minds and deceive them. Okay. <laughs> these are deceive, deceiving spirits, right? Now, if you are watching a video of chosen ones, you want to know what you're really watching. I'm not saying everyone that calls them a chosen that calls himself a chosen one is deceitful, but most of these individuals, what do they have in common? Well, they 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 follow the new age doctrine. Right? But they're gonna claim to be believers of the Bible. That's deception. They're on the other side. Right? They've been seduced. They're seducers. Alright? So we went to that, Baba Kisha. Now I want to go to them lion spirits. Go to Chronicles. Because it's really lion spirits. You know what tarot cards, readings, all of that, witches. Well, who's speaking to them? It's lying spirits. It's actually the devil, Satan. All right? No, it's not your grandmother. It's not your father. Lying spirits. Go to Chronicles, see if we can find it. Okay. Lying spirits that are deceiving these people. See if we can find us in Chronicles. And you're gonna have to bear with me just a minute because I got a new I got a new Bible, so it takes me a bit more time. Yeah, these are lying spirits. You've got to be careful what you're getting involved in. Because an evil spirit, what's, what's it? What, it's not going to do you no good. An evil spirit is sent to destroy you. Yeah. Bear me just a minute. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Let's check Kings instead. Go to Kings. Ah. Oh. Okay, okay. Ahab. Jezebel's plan. Can't find it right now. But I know it's in Kings. 
concerning Ahab that was a lying spirit, right? A lying spirit that was sent to him. Let's see if we can find it. Patience is a virtue. Found it, I found it. This is second seed. That's why you gotta have patience. First Kings 22 and jump straight to verse 20. Actually, go to verse 18. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, Did I not tell thee that I would prophesy no good? He would prophesy no good concerning me but evil. This was concerning the prophet Micah, and he wouldn't speak good concerning the king Ahab. And he said, Hear thou, thou wert therefore the word of the Lord, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him, the angels, and on his right hand, on his left. And the Lord Jehovah said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up? Okay. Ahab, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead. And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. And there came forth a spirit, so, this was a spirit of persuasion that the Lord had sanctioned to persuade Ahab. So, there's also spirits of persuasion and deceit, right? And it says, and they came forth a spirit, I'm moving too fast, and one said on this manner, another said on that manner, and they came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord Jehovah and said, I will persuade him. So, what spirit was that? That was a lying spirit. Of persuasion. Verse 22. Right? And this all ties in with seducers. And the Lord Jehovah said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. So these lying spirits can be sent out to deceive someone. This is why we need to be strong, rooted in the faith. Right? And he said... Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. So it was said, that spirit of persuasion was going to prevail over him. And that's why we want to pray also, Yehowah Baisham, Yehowah Shai, please, 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 please keep me rooted in this truth. All right? Now therefore, behold, the Lord had put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these prophets, and the Lord have spoken evil concerning thee. All right? So you could have a whole load of prophets that are what? Deceitful. Lying. And how do we know this is true? Go to Matthews 24. Right? Go to Matthews 24. And jump straight to... Where was we? Where was we? Where was we? Where was we? Verse 4. And your house said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. No man. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And shall deceive many. Look at these different so-called world religions. What do they have? That so-called halo over their heads. Right? False messiahs. Every single philosophy out there, they claim to be our oh, word of messiah, word of anointed. See, that's that deceit. Right? That's that deceit. Okay? These are deceitful spirits that have fooled the false prophets, the false church. The Catholic Church, Revelation 16, it tells you about that. Right, the false prophet, right? Just working miracles. When you go to what's it, Revelation 20? Scriptures tell us all about that. So when we see these things, there's so many that is one way to Yahweh Shai. There's not many alternative ways to God, which another deception from Satan. Oh, there's many alternative ways to God. No, there's not. Satan told you that. Okay. Satan told you that. Okay. So it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Went to that. Have to be very careful how we're treading in this truth. Right? So much deception going on. So much. Hold on just a minute. Hell of a lot of deception. Right? And it takes a spiritual mind... A spiritual individual to be able to see where that's coming from right 
So now we've covered that. Go to Ephesians 4 and 11. All right. And you got these wicked people as well. That's a that's a wicked ass spirit as well. You got people putting cameras. Here it is, I'm in the wilderness. You got people putting cameras in the wilderness. Cameras to see what you're doing. Fucking freaks. Yeah, they put cameras in. <laughs> Bro, they even put cameras in the in the woods to see what you're doing. Bro, these people are bugged the fuck out. Right? Go to Ephesians 4. Right? And they're trafficking these children as well. A lot of these children are but you know what? Let's stay on topic. Let's go to Ephesians 4. Okay, and go straight to verse 12. For the perfection of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Mashiach, till we come in the unity of faith. Right? But you have to be teaching the same thing. And of the knowledge of the Son of the Messiah unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Mashiach. Verse 14. That we henceforth be no more children. Tossed to and fro. That means when you're double minded like the sea. And carried about with every wind of doctrine. So when you're tossed about to and fro. You can't make up your mind. What's, what's true and what's not. What's fake and what's real. And carried about with every wind of doctrine. You have a lot of people like that. Like a spiritual whore. Jumping from philosophy to philosophy. We're not supposed to be like that. Because with these doctrines comes demons as well. Right? About with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men. Slight is like cunningness, deception, and cunning craftiness. So that's how these things get brought in through cunning craftiness. Whereby they lay in wait to deceive. So these people, they lay in wait. They have mischievous spirits on them to deceive the flock. And that's why you have the true prophets to warn you. Hold on just a minute. Of these things. Yeah, what to warn you for, what to stay clear of. Okay, and that's why you also have to study to show thyself approved. So you know what you're talking about. When someone asks you, you can actually give an answer. Okay. And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, where was we? Ephesians 4 and 15, but speaking truth in love. May grow up into him in all things. Right? All things. Into who? Yahweh Shai. Okay? Keep this in mind. Which is the head even Mashiach. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part. Make it increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Come on now. So we went to that. Right, them seducing spirits, they're very, 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 very slick. They look for an opening and they come in many forms. Now, I want to go to we got Second John 1 and 9 as well, and we got something in Timothy's. I don't, I didn't write, write that down. Let's see if we can find that. Go to Timothy's, Where it talks about some shall have itching ears in the last day. This is very serious. The Bible is all we need. We don't need no other book. You know, you read all these other books now. There may be a book you have of history to back up with the scriptures, but we don't need these other books. Right? Oh, the 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 the, the book of the dead, the 49, the 49 laws of, of, of attraction. You don't need that. That's all satanic. Right? Because all you're doing is attracting demons. That's all you're doing. And them demons are wrecking your life. Right? No, the 48 uh, laws of attraction. Them demons, you're attracting demons and evil spirits. Let's go to Timothy's. Okay, I found it. This is 2 Timothy's. For I charge thee, therefore, by the Most High Yahweh and the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, 
who shall judge the quick and the dead? The quick are those that are quick into this word and the dead would be those that are dead to this word. At the appearing of his kingdom. Verse 2, preach the words. Preach the words. It doesn't say preach the oh, preach preach the Quran. Um, preach the book of the dead. Preach the, the ma'at, you know, the ma'at and preach the, you know, no. Preach the word of the Lord. Be instant, in season, out of season, slow, snow, hailstones, hot, hot, hot weather. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Verse 3, for the time will come when they will shall not endure sound doctrine. That time's going to come. They will not endure sound doctrine. Let me see if I looked up that word. Oh, found it. To be sound. So how are we mentally sound? And just from what I've seen from my own experience, a lot of people that are into new age and a lot of testimonies, people leaving that rubbish, it was wrecking havoc in their lives. Because it was demons that they were negotiating with, right? To be sound, to be well. So when we endure sound doctrine, more sound, spiritually, mentally, and well, in good health. And I saw a testimony of a lady saying yesterday, she was a, what was she? She was a practitioner, a yoga practitioner, right? And a spiritualist. And she even said, yeah, it wrecks people's lives because they're evil spirits. Right, that are attached to these things in good health. Right, so we want to be in good health when you attach yourself to these demons, they ruin your health. So it says, Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha, let's go back to where we were. For the time will come where they will not endure sound doctrine. This doctrine keeps us sound, it keeps us mentally sound. <laughs> right, Buddhism doesn't do that, Kundalini don't do that. Right. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. I even looked up that word as well. For the metaphor for it is Christians whose opinions are free from any mixture of error. Of one that graces is strong. So metaphor for Christians that are free from error. Right? Having itching ears. Alright? Itching ears to scratch desirous of hearing something pleasant. Salakia. This is what itching ears mean. Right? Desirous of hearing something pleasant. So those that have itching ears, they want to hear good stuff that caters to their emotions. And that's how Satan can get you as well. Oh, well, light workers, um, yoga, but that's good exercise. There's more to it than this exercise. You're opening doorways through the enemy. Right? Now he's messing with your body. Have you doing all these, what they call it, contortion. Right? Now he has you doing contortion. Where your body's, your body's all stretched out. Satan's stretching out your body. Right? It looks like a damn exorcism. Something out of the exorcist. Right? That's called contortion. You know them people that stretch and do all that? That's demons stretching them out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And this is the truth. Bear me just a minute. I just want to make sure this device don't get all wet up. Alright? See, the demons don't like the demons don't like the truth coming out now. Every time the truth comes out, they start to scream and make, make up a whole bunch of noise. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> there you just read it. And it says Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. So all these practices. Most of these practices come, they, they're from Babylon. And some of them are Eastern practices. And there's unclean spirits involved in it. Okay? Seducing spirits. So where was I? And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. So this is having itching ears to scratch the desires of having something pleasant. Right, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. That's them seducing spirits now. Turn away your ears. That's them demons working up on your mind. And turn away their ears from the truth. 
right? I have this silly bitch when I'm sleeping. This silly bitch walks past the house and she starts singing, right? Like she's mentally ill. She starts talking to herself, right? That's them spirits. That's that. that that's them spirits, right? That plague people. Okay. And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall ter be turned unto fables. What's a fable? A fable is a lie, an invention, a falsehood, a fiction. Now, if you're of age now, there's a certain point where you don't believe in Father Christmas. Oh, Father Christmas is going to come through the chimney and um, he's going to give you presents. That's a fable. All right? These are fables. All right? Oh, the tooth fairy. Um, my tooth came out. I'm gonna leave it on the table, and um, I'm gonna be given a pound. A pound. Someone's gonna give me a pound for my tooth falling out. That's a fable, right? These are fables and false stories. It's fiction, right? Like Harry Potter. Harry Potter and his fiction, right? Even though it's based on witchcraft. Okay. And it says. But watching all things, enjoy afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of that ministry. So we're not supposed to be turned unto fables, full stories, right? You know the goosebumps? I used to read that book, The Goosebumps. They're fables, right? And most of them fables came from Greece. They're stories. And we're going we're gonna to sit down around the fire and we're going to come up with a good story. It's stories, it's myths. That's what it's myths, Right? Which go back to Greece and really further back than that. That's what it's myths, and people believe in myths, false stories, lies, because they're lying spirits. Okay. So we went to that. Now we're gonna go to. Oh, there's so much. There's so much here. What else can we find? Whew. We got Proverbs as well. We get the Proverbs of the 20, was it 21. We can find it. And we got John Godspeed. And there's so much scriptures concerning this topic. Right? And this lesson is for myself as well, rebuking myself. Be careful what you're listening to. Because that, that, that slippery serpent will try to get in your ear and give you a doctrine that's way, way, way off. Right? That's far out of the scriptures. Right. Then the next thing, you're all bugged out, right? Doing yoga practices and all that. It's very this is a very serious thing. Very serious. This is Proverbs 24, 21. My son, fear the Lord Jehovah and the king and meddle not with them that are given to change. So you may come into the truth, and all of a sudden this individual he starts changing up the doctrine overnight. Meddle not with them that are given to change. Right? Because they're unstable. One minute they believe in the Bible, the next minute they believe in something else. Right? That's called being double minded. Meddle not with them that are given to change. So, someone that's given to change, they're not um, stable. For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who shall know the ruin of them both? So, it lets us know. Their calamity shall rise suddenly. So if you see someone that's switching up the doctrine, or oh, I don't believe in that now, and they start going, you got to get away from that individual. Because it's just the end, what? The destruction of them, the calamity shall be on both of them. That's <sighs> how serious this is. Okay. So we went into that, and you also go into John as well. I want to get all the right scriptures concerning this. Right on it. This is Second John 2 and 6. For many deceivers are entered into the world. Many, many deceivers. New age is a deception. That's why they call it new age deception. Right? And it's not, it's not just new age. It's anything that's outside of the scriptures. Even in forms of Christianity. So when you hear someone saying, well, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. Um, I'm Seventh-day Adventist. Um, that's still outside of the scriptures. Okay, I'm Pentecostal. Still outside of the scriptures. 
for many deceivers are entered into the world. Who, not, who confess not that Yahweh Shai Mashak is coming in the flesh, this is the deceiver and the antichrist. So there's many. Those that don't believe in the record of Yahweh, there's many. Okay. Look to yourselves that we lose not the things which we have wrought. That's why we just got to remember where we started off on. Are we still keeping the doctrine pure? But that we receive a full reward. This is verse 9. The whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Mashiach have not the most high. He that abideth in the doctrine of Mashiach have, he have both the Father and the Son. Verse 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine. There's one doctrine. There ain't five, seven, six, ten. Because you have people say, well, uh, it's, all, it's fine. You could believe in that and I can believe in this. No, there's one doctrine. There's one way of life. All right, he that abideth in the doctrine of Mashiach, he have both the Father and the Son. It says, Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Mashiach, have not the Most High. He that abideth in the doctrine of Mashiach, he have both the Father and the Son. Because Yahweh did have a doctrine, by the way. If there come any unto you, key thing, any, and bring not this doctrine, right? Receive him not into your house. And you know, our house is also our minds, right? You don't receive anything into your mind, right? Neither bid him Godspeed. Bid him Godspeed is the salutations. Oh, shalom, brother. But you, bro, if you're bidding him Godspeed, that means you're, you're being a demon enabler. You're enabling his wickedness. For he that biddeth him Godspeed is a particular of his evil deeds. Evil spirits, evil deeds. With different doctrines, there come spirits attached to doctrines, right? So you don't want to be bidding him Godspeed. Oh, shut up, brother. Well, what is he teaching? Having many things to write unto you, I would not write with paper and ink, but I trust to come unto you and speak face to face. That's how Jeremiah may be four. So, Rastan concerning the doctrine. And when you go into John, I think it's in John 6. See if we can find it concerning the doctrine. This is John 7 and 14. Now about the midst of the feast, Yahweh went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How know if this man let us have never learnt? Verse 16. Right? And it says, Baba Kishon, Yahweh answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine. Right? It is not mine right okay let satan go past right more psychological um tactics and it says my doctrine is not mine right but his that sent me so the doctrine is whose they have any fathers but him that sent me so they even the messiah had a doctrine right 12 tribes chart um you have 12 tribes, we descend from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, we're not all black, you have Israelite foreigners, that's a, that's a very huge part of the doctrine, and it's based according to your nationality, and that's a major part of the doctrine, he didn't come for everyone, that's a major part of the doctrine as well, right, so there's different things we have to learn about concerning the doctrine, okay, and it says, if any man would do his will, he shall know of the doctrine. So if you were doing truly doing your Havashah's will, you were going to know of the doctrine as well. Whether it be of the Most High or whether I speak of myself. You paying attention. Right? He that speak of himself seeketh his own glory. But he that seeketh his glory, your Havashah's, that sent him the same is true and no one righteous is in him. This is all going back to the same thing. Be careful of them seducing spirits. Now, a lot of the times it... Different brothers deal with different temptations. And that's one of the temptations, seducing spirits. And their whole job is to get you out of the truth and join their side in darkness. That's their duty. Right? Go to Isaiah. This is Isaiah. Go to 8. And come on now, bear me just a minute. Is it 8 and 11? Right? And I'm going to do my little prayer in my own time. 
I believe I did make a few mistakes. I was watching a few videos because I'm very inquisitive. It's not like I was, I wouldn't say I was, um, I, w I wouldn't say I was seduced because I still, I'm still teaching, Yahamsha is still showing me he's with me, but I was kind of meddling into the new age without realizing it, right? And when you do that, certain things can start happening. And that's another form of why you may, may, may be gang stalked. Because you've just invited evil spirits by opening up doors to the demonic realm through new age, watching new age videos. Simple as that. Simple as that. Right? Go to Isaiah. Looking for a particular scripture. All right? And now you're being haunted and harassed by evil spirits, because that's <coughs> excuse me, that's what that's what the evil spirits of um, New Age do, and they do with rituals, right? You got to be very careful, very careful. Where is it? Where is it? This is Isaiah eight. For some reason I can't find it. Oh, here it is, right here. Isaiah 8 and 19. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits. We're not supposed to do that. We went into that word familiar a load of the times. They're demonic spirits, familiar. And they wreak havoc. They destroy lives if you don't put a tab on it. If you don't have that protection. That's what a familiar spirit is. It deals with obia. They communicate with birds, right? That's why you hear these dumb idiots screaming to birds, communicating with birds, talking to birds, cats, animals, right? That's familiar spirits. They try to get familiar, right? They try to gather intel. This is what witches, this is what seducing spirits do also. They're familiar. And that can happen if you open up a door, right? They do loads of things. They have gecko, you know, the gecko lizards to listen into your conversations. Yeah, that's what they do, right? That's what they do. They use electronic magnetic devices to listen into your conversations as well, right? And to try to manipulate your mind, which goes into hypnotism, right? These are all the things that are involved in the occult. Uh, the occult, they're seducing spirits, right? Stay far away from that as possible, okay? And it says, unto wizards that peep, when you go into that word peep, what, what, what's peeping? What's peeping? Right? When you're looking in on someone, you're looking in on someone's life. A crystal ball. You know, witches use crystal balls as well. Right? All those things. Ah, abra. I had some fucking idiot. It was like abracadabra. That don't mean anything. These are witches. <laughs> what does that mean? Right? So, those that peep, what does the peeping got? Monitoring. So we're not supposed to be seeking wizards that peep and mother peep, right? They peep, right? Even in where I am right now, I believe in there's devices that they've put up because once they know where you're posted up, they put devices. These people, they're freaks. They're weirdos. Yeah, they put devices there, right? They put, this is what they're doing, okay? These are people that are peeping. They're watching you, right? And to wizards that peep. So this is what wizards do. They peep. They look in. They try to look into your life so they can gain information. And report back to the devil. And that mutter. Right? Again. You have people that walk past your households. They just talk to themselves and mutter. That's a mental illness. Stay away from that rubbish. Stay away from the new age. That mutter. A mutter's like mumbling, right? And they're mumbling a whole bunch of madness. Now me, you know what I do? Sometimes I talk out loud and it seems like I'm talking to myself. Sometimes I need to stop doing that. But when I'm speaking, I'm speaking. Sometimes I speak out loud accidentally. But ultimately I'm speaking to Yahweh Shai when I speak. These people, who are they speaking to? They're muttering to demons. That's what they're muttering to. Right? And that mutter. Should not a people seek unto their power for the living to the dead? 
right? So we're seeking the living power, which is Yahweh Shai. They're seeking the dead, seducing spirits again. They're seeking spirits of the dead. And there's nothing good that can come from that except from mental illness, right? And a plague, being plagued by evil spirits, right? This thing is real. Okay. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, if they speak not according to the what's the word? The Bible. It's because there is no light in them. So if someone says, I want to hear, no, I want to know what you think. Put the Bible down. I want to know what you think. Sorry, mate, I can't tell you what I think. I've got to go by the scriptures. Right? I'm not going to go by my own opinion. Because when you go to Jeremiah. 7 and 19 Right I nearly got caught out I nearly got caught out watching these videos Oh, what the, what, what was it? What the, what, the, what, the, what they call it? What the star seeds Yeah, what star seeds The fuck out of here with that rubbish Right What, 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 what the star seeds What the light workers No, you're working evil You're Decepticons, that's what you are Right? Jeremiah, be very careful. That's why I'm doing this lesson. It's for myself as well. I'm rebuking myself. Right? Jeremiah 17. And because I nearly, I nearly got caught out there. Right? Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. <coughs> deceitful. Right? Above all things. So we can't trust in our heart. We went into Isaiah, right? 8 and 11, right? If they speak not according to this word, because there is no light in them, point blank, period. Right? And it says, Jeremiah 17 and 9, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So remember this, can Satan, can he access your mind? Yes, he can. Satan, yeah, bro, even with me, he can put evil thoughts in your mind, but you rebuke it. You rebuke them thoughts. Right? Okay. Satan's going to do that. Because that's the battle. Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, you're nothing. You're, you're not going to make it. Remember when you ate, remember when you ate that chicken? It had a bit of bacon. It had a bit of um, pork on it. You know? Remember when you looked at that woman? She had a fat ass. She had a ring on her finger. Right? You ain't going to make it. Right? That's what Satan's... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm being... um. Gra I'm being graphic with it to so you can understand the battle at hand. Yeah, we get righteous thoughts and we get evil thoughts. But you have to filter that through the scripture. Now, the people of the world, they don't have no filter. They don't have that filter. That's why they move according to the flesh. Right? So Satan's going to do that. Work upon your mind. Right? You, remember you were you were smoking a few years ago? Right? Um, yeah, you know what? You're, you know what? You're, you're useless! You're useless! That's what Satan's, Satan's going to tell you that because that's Satan's job. That's his job. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Now, how do you combat that? Through the scriptures. Just like the Messiah combated it. The Messiah went through the same thing. The exact same thing. In that temptation, Matthew, read Matthew 4. If thou be the son of the most high, command that these stones be turned into bread. Right? Okay. So the devil, yeah, he has power to mess with your mental, but you keep your mental in check by checking yourself. That's how. About girding yourself with the scriptures. And you tell Satan to get behind me, Shatan, in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, without worship, and him only should I worship. Get behind these Satan. That's how it's simple, basic things. Right? You don't, you don't, you don't, um, you don't entertain them thoughts. You don't entertain it. Right? Go to Ephesians. I hope this is, I already hope this is edifying. And we're not done yet. There's much more to go. We are not done yet. Right? Um, what else, what else, what else, what else You're going to have them thoughts it's, Like I said, it's different with different brothers Right But yeah, you are going to be attacked mentally 
Sometimes you're going to think you're, you're on the brink of insanity. Sometimes, in this truth, you're going to feel like you're on the brink of insanity. Yes, yeah, Satan will take you there. <laughs> he, he will take you there, man. Right? He will take you there. But you got to remember, the Lord ain't going to have it where you have a show, you're teaching his word, and he's going to turn you insane. Again, another lie from the devil. Do you really think you're going to be teaching the Lord's word and he's going to turn you insane? Come on. That's why you got, that's why you got, you have common sense. No, no, he will test you, but he ain't going to have it where you're completely insane. We got to stop believing the devil's lies, man. The devil is a liar. He's going to tell you everything. He's going to tell you everything that's wrong with you, not what's right. Because if he tells you everything that's right with you, then that would defeat the objective. He ain't going to tell you, um, you're a brilliant, all oh, right, the devil's going to come to you, you're a brilliant reader, um, you've got so much potential, um, uh, what else, uh, you're really taking down my kingdom by what you're teaching, um, I want you to be more brotherly, I want you to read every day, no, the devil ain't going to do that, see, this, this way, this way. <laughs> sometimes you, you have to get into the mindset of what, what does the devil, do what don't the devil want you to do? He doesn't want, first thing, he doesn't want you to have faith. He doesn't want you to teach. He doesn't, you, he doesn't want you to wake up other people. He doesn't want you to pray. Um, he doesn't want you to fast. He doesn't want you to be brotherly. Um, he doesn't want you to have a good marriage. Um, and there's so many, <laughs> and there's so much things. You see what I'm saying? So you're on the right path. If you're getting a lot of kickback from the enemy, you're on the right path. Okay? Just believe in that. Okay? He doesn't want you... And the ultimate thing, he doesn't want you to make it. So, that's why he's known as the adversary. Right? Satan is the adversary. He's adverse. Okay? Satan is adverse to everything that's good. So if you're getting a lot of, if you're getting a lot of kickback, Bro, there's a blessing there for you. There's a blessing there. Right? We just got to keep keep enduring. They're just trying to block you from your blessings. And demons don't want other demons to wake up. But we have to wake people up. We're converting people. Bro, I get a lot of witches that come up to me. And I can, have a, I can still have a conversation with them. I can still have a conversation with a higher level witch. And they will have no choice but to bow down and hear what you're saying. Because you're over them. Right? Still on that same topic. So where was I? Where was I? I was on Ephesians. Right? Come on now. That's a, that's a whole thing. Is If you could convert those from darkness. Bro. This is how you know if you're really, really powerful. If you can convert someone from the dark side to the light. You're really powerful. If you can convert, convert a witch that was serving the kingdom of darkness for... Five, seven, ten, twenty years, you're really powerful. And that's the that's what we're supposed to be doing. Right? Not just say, oh, you're a witch, you're gonna die. No, you tell our people their transgressions and you tell them what they have to do to get right. Okay. Okay. So I want to go back to that topic now of them spirits, them seducing spirits. Close all them doors. Make sure you're every single door. Make sure you're closing it. So there was something in Peter's I wanted to go to. Oh, that's another thing as well. If I can find it in Acts. Where the last video I done, I was looking for it, but I couldn't find it. Was it Simon? Simon but Jonas? Simon the Sorcerer Because there was another incident that happened Within the scriptures of a sorcerer Let me just pause it while I'm looking for it Let me just pause it to save memory Alright, so lucky That took me some time to find that This is Acts, right? 8 And jump straight to verse 9 Right? And you know what? Let's start at 4 Wherefore they that which were scattered abroad went everywhere, right? Preaching the words. Key thing, preaching the word. 
all right? When Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Mashiach unto him, and the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Verse 7, for unclean spirits crying with a loud voice came out of many that were possessed with him, and many taken with palsies, and that were lame were healed, and there was a great joy in that city. Verse 9, but there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched. All right? So this Simon was a sorcerer and he was using sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria. And I've watched a few videos on a pastor that told me that he was using familiar spirits to gain followers. So there's a lot of pastors today that bewitch people and put spells upon them and use familiar spirits to gain followers. Okay. And it says, right? And bewitch the people of Samaria, given out that he himself was some great one. So he wasn't a true prophet. He was a false prophet. But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of the Most High in the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, they baptized both men and women. When Simon himself believed also when he had, was baptized and continued with Philip and wanted beholding the miracles, right? The miracles, right? That were done. Okay. So he was seeing these miracles himself, right? And it says, Bible Kishah, Philip believed preaching the things concerning the kingdom of what the Most High and the name of Yahweh, which were baptized both men and women. And Simon himself believed also, and when he had baptized, he continued with Philip, wanted beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Now, when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of the Most High, they sent unto them Peter and John, who then, when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For yet it was fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized in the name of the Lord, then laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. And when Simon saw that through laying on the, of the apostles' hands on the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money, saying, Give me also this power, that on whomsoever I will lay hands, he may receive the Holy Spirit. So he wanted that same power, Simon the sorcerer. But again, remember, he was a seducer. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of the Most High may be purchased with money. You can't buy the Holy Spirit. You either have it or you don't. Thou has neither part nor lot in this matter, for thy heart is not right in the sight of the Most High. Repent therefore of this wickedness and pray for the Most High, if perhaps the thought of thy heart may be forgiven thee. For I perceive thou art in all gall of bitterness and the bond of iniquity, still in sin. When answered Simon and said, Pray ye to the Lord for me, you have a shy, that none of these things which ye have spoken come unto me. Right? So, again, you have another example with Simon, the sorcerer. Right? Simon, the sorcerer. Right? That was bewitching the people through sorcery. So that can even happen today through false pastors. What do you, what do you, think, they use the, what do you think most of these pastors are doing? They're using sorcery on their congregation. Yeah. They're using spells. In the name of Jesus. Right? And speaking in tongues is actually speaking in different languages. It's not um the shit that they're doing today. Ah la 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 sha la 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 Nah, they're putting spirits on you. That's not speaking in tongues. Right? la 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 That's not speaking in tongues. That's called demonic possession. Right? Speaking in tongues is speaking different languages. That's speaking in tongues. Okay? So this shows you that, yeah, you can have a, a teacher, but he's still casting spells on you. Witchcraft upon you. So we went to that. And there was another example I wanted to go into in Galatians. As well. Where there was a load of deceit going on. Let's see if I can find it. Let me pause this just to save up some data. Alright, this is Galatians 1 and 6. 
I marvel that you are soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Mushi Ark. Unto another gospel. A gospel that shouldn't be taught. Which is another. But there be some that trouble you. Because you also had the Pharisees that were trying to trouble who? Paul. It's not Paul, the followers that Paul was teaching when he was not there. And would pervert the gospel, twist the gospel. But though we on angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, that them which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. So if anyone comes to you with any type of gospel, even an angel, you have to question that. Let him be a curse, separated, condemned, right? Lest he repent. As we have said before, so I say now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you when that you have received, let him be accursed. For do I persuade men or the Most High? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Mashiach. Now, there's more. And so like with the timing off, timing off. Remember, I got a new Bible, so I'm just getting used to it. You know, just like with a new sword. This is my sword. Go back to Galatians 1. Galatians 3. Oh foolish Galatians. Who have bewitched you. That you should not obey the truth. So this was the same thing happening again. You had the Galatians. They were being bewitched. Right. That ye should not obey the truth. Before whose eyes. Yahusha had been evidently set forth. Crucified. Among you. Right, so there was bewitching going on, right, when Paul was not there, okay, and it says, this only would I learn of you, okay, receive ye the spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith, no, you receive it by the hearing of faith. O ye foolish, have ye begun in the spirit and now ye are made perfect in the flesh? No. Because Paul was teaching them the spiritual aspect first. Not the flesh, not the circumcision. Need to do this, need to... He was teaching them of the spirit. But then when Paul wasn't there, you would have the Pharisees that would come along and say, No, no, it needs to be the circumcision. You need to do this, you need to do that. So they started to boast in the flesh. And that's how we can't be. Boasting in the flesh. We don't want to boast in the flesh. Right? What else is there? There's Titus as well. Every, every precept I'm bringing out, most of it is going into seducing spirits and how these spirits operate. Go to Titus. All right? Two. But speak the things which become sound doctrine. You see, that word keeps popping up. Sound doctrine. How? Huh? Go to verse 6. Young men likewise exhort to be sober minded in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. In doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, and sincerity. Gravity goes into seriousness. Verse 8 Sound speech that cannot be condemned. So when we have sound speech, that's wholesome speech, that cannot be condemned. That he that is contrary part might be ashamed having no evil to say of you. So the people that do speak against us, they be ashamed having nothing evil to say. Right? Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters and please them well in all things, not answering again, not prolonging, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn all the doctrine of the power of Savior in all things. So now we went to that. Right, it is countless scriptures. Countless scriptures on this. Go to Romans. I think it's Romans 16. And there's something in Corinthians as well. Romans 16 and 16. Actually, it's 17. Now I beseech you, therefore, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offences contrary to the doctrine. So if it's contrary, it's opposite, right? 
which you have learned and avoid him. Who did we learn this of? The apostles, right? For they that are such serve not our Lord, you have a shy Mashiach, but their own belly. So you have those that are serving their own belly, which is what? Their own lust. Some come into this for what? Uterian motive. And it says, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. So this can happen as well. Good words and fair speeches. So there's a, there's a um, what's it? There's a saying, gift of the gab. Some people come across really good. They can talk good and... So you're you're you you give into that cult of personality, okay, and you get overtaken. And it says, and deceive the hearts of the simple. That's why we can't be too simple. We want to be wise, and all that takes is discernment. You got to pray for discernment to know what's real, what's not, what's fake, what's real, what's false doctrine, what's real doctrine, what's the truth, what's not. Okay. So we went to that. Go to Proverbs. This is Proverbs chapter 5. My son, attend unto my wisdom and bow not ear to my understanding, that thou mayest regard discretion, and that my lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, right? And her mouth. Is smoother than oil. So now it's talking about the lips of a strange woman. What's that? Seducing spirits. Drop as honeycomb. Honeycomb's pleasant, right? To the taste. And her mouth is smoother than oil. It's ever so smooth. But her end is bitter as wormwood. Sharp as a two-edged sword. So it's not a good ending. Lest I should just ponder. Right? I'm moving too fast. Her feet go down to death. Okay? These wayward philosophies. Her steps take hold on hell. Right? The grave. Lest I should ponder the path. Ponder the path of life. Her ways are movable. Right? Changing all the time. Right? These women, they can't decide what, sh what pair of shoes they want to wear. Right? Rat that cannot know them. Hear me, hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. We can't depart. We don't want to depart from these words. Remove thy way far from her. Get away from her. And come not nigh unto the door of her house. Remember, this is this is twofold. This is twofold. This is speaking spiritually about wayward doctrines. Lest thou give thy honour unto others and the years unto the cruel. And that's what happened to Solomon. What was Solomon's sin? His sin was not getting with the women of different nations. That, that was not the sin. The sin is when he started to get with the women with the different, of the other nations. And he started to what? Build temples to their gods. For their gods. Then worship them. That's, that was the sin. It was not getting with a woman of another nation. It's when you bow down to them. And you give your honour to what another nation. Right? Verse 10. The strangers be fooled with thy wealth. You see? The inheritance goes to them. And thy labours be in the house of a stranger. And I mourn at the last when their flesh and their body are consumed. And say, how have I hated instruction? And my heart despised reproof. Speaking of instruction, I told you at the beginning of this lesson. I have a tent right here. But well, when I ordered this tent, they were supposed to give me the instructions with it. Because every tent is what? Built differently. Right? And without the instruction, what? You err. I have not, and I have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, not inclined to my ear to them that instructed me. And I was almost in evil in midst of the congregation and assembly. That's through wayward doctrine. So, yeah, we also do have teachers. Go back to it. We're going to shut off soon. This has been a long lesson. We also have teachers that have what? Taught us this doctrine and the right way. Go to Timothy's. Do not veer away from what you've been taught. Please don't veer away from it. 
St stick with it. And it has been working. So let's see if we can find it. Continuing what you were taught. Continuing what you were taught. And when you go into most of Timothy's, it's based on the doctrine, by the way, when you go into most of it. This is, oh, there's so much here. There is so much here. Bear me just a minute. Here we go. This is 2 Timothy's 2 and 14. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive, not about with words, to no profit. That's one thing about the so-called new ages they hardly bring out any scriptures they claim to be bad but were you supposed to bring out the scriptures to back up everything you're saying charging them before the lord that they strive not about with words just empty words to no profit but to subverting of hearers so you're subverting the hearers through the words not your not what you think and when I'm doing lessons, I always make sure that more scriptures are coming out than more than, than I'm doing more talking. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Because when you study, you know what you're talking about. Rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and vain babblings. You just talking, you're just babbling. A bunch of empty babble. Now, we talk in between. When we bring out scriptures, we talk in between that to break it down, but we want to do more of the scriptures and less talking. Less of our own words. Because that's when you're liable to go off. For they will increase unto more ungodliness, you see. And their word will eat as doth a canker, rust, of whom Hamanaeus and Philetus, whom concerning the truth have erred, they were seduced, and they were seducing others, saying that the resurrection is past already. Some people say that already. Oh, the Messiah, he's already came on the scene now, so this must be the kingdom. The resurrection has passed already, overthrow, and overthrow the faith of some. Now are you seeing where it all links up? And overthrow the faith of some. So Hamanaeus and Philetus, they erred from the faith, and they were trying to overthrow this, the faith of some. They were trying to take others with them. You see why this truth is so important? And why you have to be teaching the right thing? Hmm? So with this, this lesson's been, all right, this has went on for some time. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and this is just concerning them seducing spirits. Be very careful because they're everywhere and them seducing spirits, their whole job and duty is to try to shift you, remove you out of the truth. That's their duty, right? So with this, I hope this was edifying and until the next time, shalom.